Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video we're going to show you how to add a single image light box to your website. And an example of this is right here. So when I click on this image, it's going to pop up here. And I can navigate to all the other images that are in this selection. This is great to just showcase a few images on a page instead of doing an entire gallery. Because um, this eliminates actually adding in another plugin to your website. So let's go ahead and get started. So right now I have my section here where I want my images to be. So right now I'm going to go to the elements and I'm going to add an image element. All right, and we're going to go ahead and turn on the link. Now we're not going to actually link it to anything here. So we're going to delete the href. It's important that you do that. Let's add a class to this image. Now this class needs to be unique because whenever, I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. It needs to be unique to this page. And what that means is you wanna add the class to where all of the images with this class are gonna open in a light box. So I'm gonna add a single folio. Okay, this is just gonna let me know that it's like a portfolio image and it's just gonna be a single light box for this. All right, so let's go ahead and add our images. And for these, we're just going to add a few of the images that I have here. So I want to go ahead and duplicate this three times. Okay, so we have this and I'm going to change up the image just so we have some different images to look at. Now once we've done that, we have to add one snippet of a short code to this page at the very bottom. So we're gonna go ahead to our layout and we're gonna add a section. From there, we're gonna go ahead to elements and we're going to insert a raw content element. And we're gonna go ahead and paste this code. And let me expand this. So from here, you can see that we're doing a light box selector selecting everything with the class of single folio. All right, we're gonna turn off deep blinking. The opacity is gonna be for the background of the actual slideshow or navigation. Um, the previous scale, previous opacity, things like this you could just keep normal. And then um, orientation is horizontal. So we added that and you're not gonna see this on the front end so you don't have to worry about that. So let's go ahead and save. Open up in a new tab, scroll down, and we have all of our light boxes being shown on those three images that we just added. This is a great way to do this, and it's actually mobile friendly as well, so you don't have to worry about doing something different for mobile as opposed to desktop. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I will see you guys on the next one.